Hello and welcome back, this is part 5 of my minion series and in this video I'll be modeling the hair, the eye and then the eyelids. Okay, so I'll just go on over to the second layer. I'll close this node editor here, we won't be needing that for now. And then, so to create the hair, I'll create about 5 variations of a single strand of hair. So I'll just duplicate, uh, sorry, I'll just um, add a circle. And because I want to be adding a subdivision uh, modifier, I'll take it down to something quite low, so maybe 10 vertices. And then I'll just go ahead and scale this down quite a bit to about there, then extrude it on the x-axis to about there. And you can see my normals are have been flipped, so I'll just select the whole mesh and then recalculate the normals, and then scale this down over here. Because, of course, hair gets shorter as you go up to, um, up along the strand. Okay, so actually maybe this can go a little shorter as well. Yeah. Okay, so I'll add one loop cut in the center there, then I'll add my subdivision uh, modifier with control and number two. And now I can very easily adjust the the form of this strand just by moving around the top one and the bottom one, uh, the top uh, vertices and then the center vertices. So I'll just create a few strands like this, a few variations, maybe four or five. Let's go ahead and do that. One long one, one curved one. Make one like, oops, left one behind there. Like that. Then a shorter one. Not my bad. Um, make sure you duplicate and then P for separate and then separate by selection. And then move it in object mode because we want. Uh, what happened there? Yeah, and then move it in object mode because you want the point of origin to stay at the bottom here. Because when, when we attach it to the head, I'm going to be using um, the snap to um, function. And that will snap to wherever the origin point is. Okay, so there's a few more variations. So one more should do. Just something like that looks good. Okay, so yeah. That looks alright. I'm going to select all of these. I'll take them over to my. I can just leave them on this, on this layer. Let's make them a bit smaller and turn on the snap, the snapping, um, feature over there. And then I'll snap to the nearest face. And I will turn on this auto rotate. Oh, it was on. It wasn't on. No, it wasn't. Okay, it's on now. Okay. Now I'll hold down shift and then click on the first layer so we can view both both layers. Now this to about the right size. About yeah, like that, and then I'll just go ahead and copy and duplicate these, and then you will you might need to rotate them like over here as necessary. Yeah, just like that. Actually, on second thought, I'm just going to delete this real this real straight one. It looks a bit, it looks a bit weird. So yeah, that looks a bit. And I think these are a bit too long. So let me just scale them down. It's not the body. Go all these down to about to about there. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. It might have been better to use the particle system to add all these hairs, but I'm not very good at the particle system, and when I tried it, just it went very wrong. So this way is fine for me. It does take a bit of time, but yeah, it's better than learning how to use the particle system. I've never, I, uh, I just haven't had that much scenes where I needed the particle system. So yeah, I think that looks alright. Okay, so now that we have the hair there, I'll add a material for it. So I'll select one hair strand. Create a new material and name this hair, and then I use a very straightforward um, shader. I'll just um, this first one here. I'll make it a mix shader. Then I'll mix a diffuse and a glossy. Oops, that was background. That wasn't diffuse. A diffuse and then a glossy right over there. Okay, and also I want to change the factor to 0.1, so we're going to have um, a lot more diffuse um, uh, rather than glossy. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. Okay, so I'll take the diffuse color um, just down to almost black. So about there, why isn't that working? Error. Why isn't that working? 
That's strange. Oh, of course, I haven't. Stupid me. Um, I have to move all of these over to this strand. Oh, sorry, the material is only assigned to this one hair particle at the moment, a hair strand. So I'll select them all, and with that one, with the material being the active element, I'll hold down. Oh, what was it? I forgot. Um, Control L, and then I'll make links materials. And now they all have that same material. Okay, let's do that again. Let's see how it looks. Yes, that looks good. Okay, but instead of the glossy color to be um, returning white, I'll just make it a little bit gray. Uh, so something like that. It just looks a bit better. It looks strange if your hair is reflecting white. Okay, so I think that looks good. Um, yeah, that looks right. Okay, so now we're going to do the eyelid and then the eye. So for that, I'll just select the goggles. I'll hit um, the forward slash to localize the view. And then I'll select in edit mode and then holding down alt, I'll select this entire loop cut over here. And then I'll duplicate it. And then right click to cancel the active selection, uh, the uh, to cancel the, the grabbing. And then I'll hit P to separate and separate by selection. Okay, so now this is its own object. If I can select it here. Set this to optimal display as well, so we can see what's going on a bit better. Okay, and this is going to be the glass of our... Oh wait, we have the glass already, what am I doing? Oh yes, sorry, of course. Okay, so this is going to be the eye. I'll just with um, turn snapping off with O, and then I'll move this to where the eye should be, and it's not off. Uh, oh, it's for proportional editing, sorry, just um, turn it off by selecting a little magnet icon. And I'll slide this to the end of the goggles to about there. Okay, so then I'm going to extrude this down to about about there, then hit F to fill the face over there. And let me just move this real quick. Okay. And then I'll just loop cut this about, say about 14, 15 times. And then I'll select the innermost vertices, and then turn proportional editing on with O. And then I'll select the proportional editing fall off to be, where's it, sphere. Okay. So now I can hit G and Y, and I'll move this just to about there, and I'll also just um, use the scroller to adjust the fall-off amount, and I'll take it to 1.1, just so it's, it's affecting all of the geometry except for this last loop cut over here, and I'll put this to about, about that much. And then that's the eye over there, and I also should um, flip these, direct, these normal directions. A uh, direction, sorry. And there you go, that looks good. That's the eye right there. Um, so let me just um, send the origin to the center of my mesh. So I'll just go um, set origin and then set um, origin to geometry. And then because we're going to be using the, I forgot what it's called, it's called the shrink wrap modifier to create the eyelids, I need to identify this um, one circle. So I'm going to name it eye. Okay, so I'll go out of um, local V mode and then go into it again with the eye selected going into it, and then I'll select these two vertices over here. This is where our little begin, or maybe these two. Yeah, there. And then I'll hit Shift-D to duplicate it, right-click to cancel the movement, and then P for um, separate, and then I'll separate. I'll just separate over there. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is delete this subsurf modifier over here, add a new modifier, and this will be a shrink wrap modifier. And what you don't know, if you don't know what this is, is basically it's this is what people use to do retopology. Um, if I just go ahead over here to target and select the eye, and then I'll just put the offset to about um, 0 0.01 and also the keep above surface and select this over here so we can see it in edit mode. So we can see the vertices being affected in edit mode. And then I can extrude this and send this over here, and you can see it's going to stick to the mesh. That's exactly what we want. That makes it a whole lot easier to move things around a mesh. Okay, so let's go ahead and create this. I'll stay in the front view mode, and then I'll grab these and then just extrude them to the end, about to the center, about over there. So I flip my normals again. Then I'll add um, an even number of loop cuts. Uh, sorry, that's an odd number. It doesn't really matter, but. Okay, four loop cuts over there, and then I'll go ahead and just make this a little neater, turn off proportional editing. And I want this to be quite 
I want this to be a nice fall off curve over here. So I'll try to do that as best as I can. That's something like... No, that's something like that looks good. Let's make the separation a little better. Yeah, that looks good. I'm happy with that. And then put this one quite close to the end so we can start extruding along the rest of the eye. And I want the, the flow to go around the entire eye instead of um, the flow going like this and then down here because that will create ugly triangle stuff. Yeah, if that makes sense. So what I need to do that, I'll take these two here and then extrude them like so. Like so. I'll just take this all the way to the end and then add you know, three loop cuts there. And I'm just gonna do this until I reach until I until I cover up the entire eye. Okay, so you can see I have a bit of a mess over here and this geometry won't play out nicely. So what I'll do for now is just delete or delete this here and then connect this here and then connect it like that. And you can see our geometry will now actually it's not flowing the way I want. Let me delete this as well and delete this loop cut here. I'll connect these and then I want to connect I want to connect it like a yeah, wait, let's delete this face here. I want to connect it like this. And then I want to connect it like like this. Oops, that was not what I wanted. Uh, what's going on here? Let's see, how can we do this? Do we want to create another loop cut here? Yes, we do. Oops. Let's see, how does that look? Because now, as you can see, if we make a loop cut here, it's not going to create these weird triangles because before it would go around here and then it would launch off down here somewhere and then the side would do the same it would launch off over here and then it would have like a weird triangle thing there once we subdivide but oh, delete the wrong thing there can't take that back i can't take that back once sleep my yeah okay so i think i'm happy with that let's add a subdivision um surface of about about three because it's quite low low geometry then I'll just separate these a little bit, space it out a bit, so we don't have um, any bunching anywhere. Yeah, but something like that should do. And then our mirror modifier. Let's go ahead and add all that stuff. Actually, let's apply it. Yeah, let's go ahead and apply this now. Let's apply the shrink wrap modifier. Then I'll add my mirror modifier. And the mirror modifier can we can enable clipping. So let's go ahead and. Push them together, just like that, and also put it on the top of our subserve. So just push this up arrow, and there we have it. Okay, so we have a lot of clipping problems over here, as you can see. So I'll just um, add a, a solidify modifier to give it some depth, and I want it to be minus, so about minus um, 0 0.01. Let's see how that looks. That looks a bit better. Actually, let's extrude this on the y-axis, so we have we have a bit of fall off inside of our eye here. Okay, let's lift these manually over here. This one too. And how does that look? I think that looks good. We probably won't see this over here, but let's lift it anyway. To about there, and that is good, yeah. And then I'll give this the same material as the minion, of course, the body. Then let's have a look at what this looks like uh, behind the goggles. So go out of local view mode. I'll also just hide the gloss for now. And then let's go into the rendered view shading. And that looks really good, I'm happy mm -hmm. with that. Okay, so I think that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll be finishing up the 
The minion will be doing the rest of the texturing, the strap, the gloves and the boots, and then the eye. And then there's um, the actual goggles, which is a real simple shader. But uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please like and subscribe.